you know, when you turn 50, the panic, the panic about retirement is real, guys. So when I turned 50, I was like, so I don't have any enough savings. That's when it actually dawned on me that I don't have savings. And this is common. I hear this a lot, especially from my clients who were married and after divorce, some, some of them walk out with nothing. <laughs> and they're like, so what do you think I should do? And I always tell them that you're not alone. It's all of us. There's so many reasons why people don't have savings. Some of them have been sending their children to school, sending them to good universities and everything, and they don't have anything saved to themselves. So it's not something that is just for one person. There's so many reasons. But I'm going to share with you those things that you can do. And these are things that I am doing myself so that I could increase the savings that I have in preparation for my retirement. You may be 50 years old, you may be 60, 70, this is still applicable to you. So one thing you can do is to move in with your family, friends, uh, relatives, your children, just for a specific period of time. Say it's for one year, the amount of money you save in a year is a lot. You could help them. It's just moving in with them and tell them that, you know what, I'm, I want to save money. If you have your own home, rent it out just for one year or for two years. Depends on how long you want to do it. See how much you can save. You save a lot of money. Make sure you've got a financial advisor to guide you on how you can make intelligent savings. Because it's never too late. It's still, there's still time. If you were renting, well, you can just go and stay with your family somewhere. And then you'll be contributing just a little bit and save more. You know what? I always think, like, there's a time I stayed with my, my family, my brother for one year. And I tell you, they never asked me to pay anything. I asked myself, what did I do with that money that time? I always tell myself, if they ask me this time to move in, before they even finish this sentence, I'm in. <laughs> Boss, I'm, trying, I'm getting smarter with my money now. <laughs> Boss, I'll be thinking, okay, I won't be paying mortgage here. I'll get someone to come in and just rent it for one year whilst I'm saving. So they said, imagine how much you can save in a year. That's a lot of money, right? So you could do that. You can go and help if those grandchildren. You can go and help those who are struggling with grandchildren and look after the, the grandkids whilst you're working as well when you're free so that they won't be paying childcare. When you're free, you also help them out. So you save money. We both win, okay? You could do that. Move in with friends, something like that. Those who can't uh, move in with people, if you've got a spare room in your home, just make sure you rent it, to, rent it to someone for that particular period and make sure that money is dedicated to your savings, is going straight to your savings, to whatever plan that you have that you got from your financial advisor. Okay, so we need to think outside the box. There's so much that you could do. Be creative. Honestly, uh, if you, I, I, I realize that 50 years old, I still have a lot of time. If I really want to save, these days, people live long. I could be one of those people who are going to live up to 100. So I have to plan as if I'm going to live up to 100 years. All right. So this is what we should be doing. If you're working and you love the job that you do, great. You can choose to work longer hours. But if you feel like your job is really tiring, you can't be doing it. It's time to learn a new skill. It's never too late. I love talking on a video. I don't mind. I love helping people. I'm a life and dating coach. So... When I came on social media two years ago, that was my plan. I was already planning my retirement and I knew when I retire, I want to be talking to people. I want to be helping women who are struggling to date people with life issues that I can talk. I'll share my story, share my life experiences to help someone. So this is exactly what I'm doing. And it works because I have people who book me um one-to-one -one consultations they just want someone to talk to uh because i share relatable information people are like oh you know i was so inspired when you share about this so i just want someone to talk to i have people coming to to to, to um subscribe no, sorry booking consultations to discuss to talk about things and this is another income that is coming in you're doing the things that i love so you can imagine that if I make myself known, if I grow on the social media platforms and I start doing that, wow. Okay, not only that, the platforms themselves, they pay us. TikTok will pay me for my videos. Facebook will pay me for my videos. Here on YouTube, it's going to pay me for people viewing. 
my work and also I'll get consultant uh, consultations. So you'll be winning both ways. It is not going to happen overnight. You can take years to get a following people who will be subscribe buying your services, but you don't stop. You make money in so many ways. If people don't book your consultations, you still have videos that are being viewed. As long as you provide quality, people are going to, to, um, to watch your content. So retire from a boring job, learn something uh, that you love doing so that you can do it longer without even complaining. Like, oh, this job is boring. I love uh, talking so I can talk for hours without even getting tired. So this is my side hustle. <laughs> Uh, so never stop learning. I'm 50 years old. I never stop learning. I will learn something. There's certain things that I'm learning behind this, the scenes, which I don't want to share right now, but I'm learning new skills because I am preparing myself. I don't want to keep doing the jobs that I don't like. As you grow older, there are certain things that you can't do. Probably the job that I'm doing right now, I wouldn't want to be doing it in the next five years. So I need to prepare myself until my side that is paying more Then probably I'll quit my nine to five job. DIY, DIY guys is the best. Do it yourself. You don't need to hire a handyman all the time. Some of the things that are uh, is, is done in this in this place, like I need, really have to appreciate my man because he does a lot. There are certain things that he really helped me here that he fixes. If I was going to hire someone to do it, that would be a lot of money. So DIY, do yourself, do it yourself. Learn to do things by yourself. Don't rely on um, hiring people to do things for you all the time. If you've got a car, you can use public transport. Then you'll cut down on fuel, parking spaces, the maintenance of the car. You can save money. I've seen people who say, always say, like, you know what, I had a car, but I don't have a car this year. I'm going to have a car in three years. They want to save. For three years, all that the expense that goes to the car is not there. Okay? So... That's another way you can save money as well and put it towards your retirement. Buying things in bulk. Good idea of saving money. And finally, buying secondhand stuff. There is nothing wrong buying secondhand stuff. Clothes. You can still look beautiful with secondhand clothes. And you can go for better brands. So there's nothing wrong doing that. Even some of the gadgets, buy them secondhand if you can. You save a lot of money, a lot. So that money that you've saved, it goes towards your retirement. I hope I made sense on this video, guys. If you have something to share, please leave comment in the comment section. Share with us what other things that we could do. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share, to like, and let someone also watch this. If you don't have anyone to watch, just leave a comment so that I, I can see that you've been here. And also, I want to have uh, to get your ideas as well. Because I know people who are in the 50s, 60s, 70s are going to be watching this video. And guys, keep believing. And I believe that God is with you. And I hope things are going to be okay. Don't panic too much about that. Keep working, do what you love, doing the most. If you want to do social media, do it. And remember, be patient. It takes a long time to be known on the social media platforms. So guys, you take care and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.